It is 5 o'clock, 5 o'clock, 5 o'clock on a Wednesday, and you're hanging out with the two owls, Looney and Llewellyn. Hello. How are you? Good. Not too bad today. And yourself? I'm good, thanks. So what are we doing for the great 10 today? Well, before I tell you what it is, she's stressing. <laughs> My heart. <laughs> Nothing. She's like, come on, hurry up. I want to go. I want to go. Okay? She can't wait to wait for you guys. It's ridiculous. <laughs> Right? I mean, I, I thought I was bad. Can you not expose me? <laughs> oh, come on. You know you study. But we are going to do some questions. Some All right. Uh, exam, you know. And the nice thing about it is I'm doing three different sections. I'm having a look at cells. I'm having a look at mitosis. And I'm having a look at uh, food tests, which is quite cool. It's quite nice. All right. That's awesome. Mindset, as you heard it, we're going through cells, food processes, and mitosis. It's going to be a fun show because, you know, in the two hours together, expect some craziness. But don't forget, guys, you still have the Learn Extra exam revision marathon competition going on. If you haven't entered, ask yourself why. Because you stand a chance to win awesome, awesome Samsung devices. They are out of this world. So all you need to do is download the show notes on Learn Extra. See you at forward slash live. But I will post the show notes, guys. So don't panic. On Facebook.com forward slash Lynn Extra, I'll post the show notes. You download those at the bottom, the last page of the show notes, right at the bottom, there is a race number. What you do with that race number is that I will post another link on the Facebook page for the entry form, and you fill that in, fill in your race number, follow the instructions, and it's as simple as that. You'll be entered <coughs> into a lucky draw to win one of these awesome Samsung devices. Let me just show you what these babies do. So on the Samsung devices, we do have the Learning Hub. Swipe to unlock. <laughs> there you go. This is the library, and you download as much content as you want to learn extra exam revision content. It's there for you for free. Some is for free, some is for like 8 Rand 37. So make sure mindset is if you do have a premium smartphone, smartphone from Samsung or a Samsung tablet, get yourself the learning hub and download the learn extra exam revision <coughs> content on here. Okay, guys, because it's awesome. Exams. We are running the race. Last lap, guys. We want you to be here in grade 11 next year. So please make sure you download the exam revision content. And you listen to Llewellyn. He's going to give you a great lesson. Our Twitter handle is at Lynn Extra. Like I said, Facebook.com forward slash Lynn Extra is where you can like our Facebook page. I have been talking for a long time now. So I will hand it over to the other L. Jeez, oh, oh. <laughs> you see what I mean? She doesn't give up, right? Just for the record, am I right? Lee? They can just tell us any time they're doing a draw. Any time. You just you'll time. see you <laughs> young signals like any time. So make sure, guys, you do enter mm -hmm. because we'll be having a draw any time, any day. Make sure you watch all the live shows. Llewellyn. Oh, so I hope, hope you're ready. Right, so Looney is going to post notes. Just... Give her a while, so you don't have to say, please send, please send. Yes. It will be posted. Just give her a few minutes or so. I've got to keep her on her toes. I don't want her to <laughs> forget about our lesson. You know, she learns things when we talk about this. Right, so I'm going to keep her on her toes. You keep me on my toes, and uh, we'll take it from there. Right. So, today, as I said, we're going to have a look at chemistry of life, right, which is quite cool. We're going to have a look at the structure and function of plants and animal cells. So, big thing, function. Oh, wait a minute. You know, I always forget about that. But we're going to have a look at the structure and the function of plants and animal cells, right? And we're going to have a look at cell division. Very, very important cell division, right? Okay, now, do not think that if you're in grade 10, that cell division is not important, right? It comes back in grade 12, but as meiosis. But you still have to know your cell, cell division is mitosis. So remember it very carefully, okay? <coughs> so... Let's have a look at questions first of all, okay? These questions come out of an exemplar, okay? So it's ones that have been set by professionals, put it that way. So it's not just any teacher. They've been sitting, they make sure that they've got all the stuff. So this is round about the type of questions they're going to ask you, okay? So firstly, we're going to have a look at the simple multiple choice questions. Now, <coughs> sorry, I've got a throg in my throat. But... I have a friend that calls it multiple guess because that's what you guys do. It's a guess. Am I right, Looney? Of course. Of course. It's, it's, I don't know the answer, A, B, C, D, uh, that one looks right. Am I right? Huh? Yes. That's how you do it. Wrong. Everything is there for a reason. 
I'm going to go through it slowly, so make sure you listen carefully and you understand what's going on. Right, so <coughs> let's have a look at it. Which inorganic compound is most abundant in the body of plants and animals? Now, specific words that help you with this. Okay, so let's read it slowly and underline the most important words. Let's see. Which inorganic compound? Very important. Inorganic means non-living, <coughs> almost. Okay, it's got a, a it, it's non non-living. It's got a carbon bond. Okay, so you must have a look at that. Okay, is abundant means lots, like like that much. Right. Okay, so it's lots of it in the body of plants and animal cells. So let's go through it. Could it be? Okay, we always cross off the things that it cannot be. Okay, could it be vitamins? Okay, is a vitamin living? Have you ever seen vitamin A jumping around, going mad like a... No, can't be that. Right, so it cannot be A. Next thing, water. Right, well, oh, sorry, wait a minute, hold on. I need to get rid of that because even I'll make mistakes, you see. Okay, there we go. Uh... Did you see it alive? Yes, so it could be that. Why is it could be that? Because I'm looking at inorganic. See? So you see how quick you can make a mistake, even I'll make mistakes. Okay, so non-living, non okay? Vitamins, you can see it. Water, have you seen it jump around and go crazy? Water is not good, right? Water does not jump. Even though it comes off a waterfall, it doesn't jump around. I mean, a nice still pond, you see a water jump for joy. Not gonna happen, right? So it could be water. <coughs> Proteins, have you ever seen a protein jump up and down and around in that? No. So what, what, what's this? Looney, Looney. Looney. Hi there. Come here, my sweetie pal. Don't, <laughs> don't stand there. Come. Take a long walk to freedom. Come on. That's it. You really think that I was going to leave you sitting there all by your lonesome? Come here. Come here, my child. <laughs> okay, now, you see this gorgeous girl? She's made up. Of protein. Now watch this. Jump for me. Give it, give Jump. it a dance. Yes, give it the dance. That's it. That is protein <laughs> doing the dance. This is perfect. <laughs> that is protein doing the dance. Okay? Now, it's, so it cannot be protein. Perfect. And then carbohydrates. Okay? Carbs. Where do you find carbs? You need, you know. In bread. Bread. In okay, so is bread. Okay, you've got to understand. Was bread living? Do you, do you think bread, bread was living once upon a time? Living? Living bread. Living how? Ah, was bread... Bread was a plant. Ah, so was a plant swaying and enjoying life? <laughs> yes, so yes. it cannot be. Okay, cool. So, we're left with water and with vitamins. Okay, now the most abundant. You have learnt that water makes up a lot of our body. Okay, vitamins we keep taking in and we need them. So we keep drinking them in. Right? Water, we always have in our body. Because think about it. What is inside every cell? Cy cytoplasm. What makes up the cytoplasm? Some water as well. Right. So, it has to be B. Water. You understand? So, <coughs> that makes vitamins wrong and water the correct answer. Cool. Now, next one. It's going to get more and more difficult as we go along. Okay? The next one is the strengthening tissue. With a cell wall, okay, so it's got a cell wall, so we know it's a plant cell, first of all. Strengthening tissue, plant cell, okay, thickened, okay, the plant cell wall is thickened, okay, especially, if you have a look here, especially in the corners. They want to know what is it called. Okay, what do we do? We eliminate certain things. Okay, first of all, a calenchyma could be. I don't know my tissues that, that, that well. That's what you're thinking in your head. I don't know it so well. But let's have a look at it. Kalenkama could be. Phloem. Uh, but what does phloem do? Phloem and xylem are the, most, the ones that you always know about. You never forget it. Phloem is food. Xylem is water. Phloem, food. Right? It transports food. So can it be food? Right? Is it thickened in the corner? Is it there for support? No. So it cannot be phloem. Okay? Chlorenchyma. Chlorenchyma reminds me of chloroplasts, okay? It's parenchyma cells with chloroplasts inside it, okay? So it cannot be that because it's not, it's got nothing to do with support, right? Next one, sclerenchyma. Those are the two I'm looking at. Sclerenchyma 
and parenchyma, uh, scl num, sclerenchyma and cholenchyma cells. Okay, now, what are they, how do they do, and why do I think they're so similar? Now, me, I study them, okay? So what this tells me is sclerenchyma is a very, very particular, um, what do you call it, cell. Sclerenchyma is a cell that has died, okay? What that actually does is this, the, the plant or whatever says, okay, I need, need support. So I'm going to pump liquid in, right? And I'm going to pump it in so that I've got a cell. I'm just going to do that. Okay, I've got a cell, and I'm going to thicken that cell wall. But in between here, right, I'm going to pump, pump this thing called lig lignin in, right, to make it nice and strong. That means nothing can get in, nothing can get out. What happens if you don't get food or water or anything? What happens? Huh? You die. Right, Looney? Of course. Of course. <laughs> right. So, sclerenchyma is a dead cell. Okay? And have you seen how it's thick all around? Okay? Kalenchyma is in the corners. K corners, right? Kalenchyma is thickened in the corners. So, if I wanted to do that, right, it is thick over there, it's thick over there, thick over there, and thick over there. Okay, for support, but it's still living because everything can get in and out. Simple, easy. Okay, so <coughs> hopefully we're getting this right. We know that sclerenchyma is wrong and kalenchyma is right. Now, next one. Division of one cell by mitosis, whoa, one cell by mitosis will produce. So how many will it make? Okay, let's go through it. Two nuclei. Okay, so we've taken one, and one divides, making two or one, or three or four. I take one cell, and it divides, how many does it make? Two. Two cells, very nice. Okay, so we know, A, there's two cells, am I right? Okay, so we know that. How do we know there's two, two cells? There's two nuclei. Okay, next one, four nuclei. Are we going to take one cell, and are going to make four all of a sudden? No, can't do that, right? This is mitosis. Not going to happen. So we know for a fact that B is wrong already. Yes? Let's pull it down. Two nu nuclei. It could be that one as well. Right? Two nu nuclei. And third, four. Can't be that. You see how I'm getting rid of specific ones? That leaves two all the time. Right? You guys have all watched who wants to be, be a millionaire, right? Right? And they 50-50. We cancel the things out that's not making sense. Right? Here we go. Each of which has chromosome number half that it had from the parents. Now, what is mitosis for? Okay, Mitosis is to repair and to grow. Are we happy with this? That means the daughter cells, or the two that are ending out at the end, look identical to the parent. So if the parent has four chromosomes, each one of the children also have to have four chromosomes. So if it says here half, Right? Half. Is it the same amount as the parents? No. So it cannot be A. That means, let's look at the bottom, each of which has the same number of chromosomes as the parent. Right. So, where is it? Let's bring it down. There it is. That one is right. Simple, easy. Do you, do you understand where I'm getting this from? Okay, next one. <coughs> well, come down, come down. Which of the following covers the external, well, covers the external body surface and lines the internal cavities. Oof, oof. Hold on, let's have a look at this. Epithelial, connective tissue, mus muscular tissue, nervous tissue. Okay, now, animal tissue, I remember, was, was, was difficult. You've got squamous, you've got cuboidal, you've got epithelial, you've got endothelium. And do you understand where I'm coming? This is difficult, right? It's actually not that bad. Okay, let's do the normal things, okay? First thing it says, covers the external body. Okay, let's start from the bottom. Can anybody have a good look at me? I know I think I'm handsome and I'm clever and I'm beautiful. Whoa, it's not going to help. <laughs> Bunny, come here. I was going to say I'm handsome and beautiful, but I, not even I believe. So I'm handsome. Come here, girl. <laughs> Okay. <laughs> Sexy, gorgeous, and unbelievable. How's that? Okay. Right, there we go. Have a look. Anybody see a nerve? Huh? Can you see a nerve? Nerves? Yeah, nerves. Give me a nerve there. I think so. 
I don't Can know. you see a nerve? You can't. I'm quite Okay, so it can't be a nerve. No. <laughs> okay, let's, let's cross nerves off here. <laughs> right, can't be nerves. Muscle tissue. Let, let me see. Show me those muscles. Can you see the muscles on the outside? Can you see your muscles? My muscles? Yes. No. Why not? But yeah, this, this, this is like muscle. This. Oh, no, yes. no, 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 no. Not this. What is this? This. Skin. Ah, skin muscle. Is the skin muscle? Okay, Louis. No, the skin <laughs> is not muscle. Right? So it can't be muscle. Okay. Connective tissue, right? Connective tissue. Let me give you one connective tissue, just off the top of my head. Veins and arteries. Okay. Okay, show me the veins and arteries. And, and I'm not talking about these the big green. things that are sticking out. I'm talking about <laughs> on top, right? Like, the skin is a vein and an artery. Is your skin a vein and an artery? No. No. So it can't be that one either, right? That leaves me, has, has to be A, right? Has to be, thank you, gorgeous. Thanks, bye. Okay. Has to be A, epithelial tissue. But hold on. I could have done that a much quicker way. Epithelial covers everything that's on the outside. Endothelium and the inside. Outer side, epithelium. Right, so epithelium is the right tissue and the exact one that we're looking for. But did you notice how I cancelled it out? You've got to know your things. Okay, now, they also try and confuse you. Okay, which I'm going to show you in a few seconds. Hopefully this is the one I'm looking for. This is the one I'm looking for. Right, are you ready? Concentrate carefully. Okay, it says, which of the following are examples of connective tissue? Now, I already told you, connect, connective tissue, right? I explained it in the last one. So you should already know one of them, okay? Just off the top of your head. But let's have a look at this. Okay, we've got squamous epithelial tissue. Squamous epithelial tissue, right? Oh, well, let's just say squamous tissue, not epithelial. Squamous tissue, okay? Then we've got blood tissue, right? That's cool. Blood, blood tissue. Then we've got cuboidal tissue. Cuboidal tissue, right? We've heard these words before, okay? And lastly, we've got tendons, okay? Tendons, we've got tendons, cuboidal, blood, and squamous, okay? Question again, which of the following are examples of connective, big word, tissues? Okay, and they say to you, hold on a little bit, come on. Hold on, you can either have one and two, so let's see what's one and two, squamous and blood, blood tissue. Well, blood tissue, we've spoken about, so you already know that's one of them, okay? So this one could be right, I'm not really, I, I don't know much about squamous tissue, right? Then I have a look at two and three. Two and three, it could be, because three is wrong, right? Right, oh, not three is wrong, three I don't know about, it's cuboidal tissue, I'm just trying to get there. And then lastly, two and four. Tendons. Now, what is a tendon? All I know is ligaments and tendons. Okay? Please remember, this is the quickest and easiest way to remember. I'm sure you've all heard of Achilles. Can you remember Achilles? Your Achilles tendon. That's this thing here. Right. Everybody that grabs this above the heel, you'll feel that's an Achilles tendon. And it joins Achilles tendon. Okay? Not Achilles ligament. Achilles tendon. And it joins the calf to the foot. Okay? So... Tendons connect muscle to bone, ligaments, muscle, a uh, uh, bone to bone. We happy? Okay, so this is, I know for a fact, and you've got to remember this, a tendon is a connective tissue. Okay, so we know now that tendons are right, blood is right. What it gives the other two? What tells me immediately, immediately, that these two are wrong? Can anybody think about it? Okay? It's very, very, very important. Very important. What I'm going to do is I'm going to leave that out. Okay? I'm telling you now that squamous tissue and cuboidal tissue are absolutely and completely wrong. There's nothing right about them. But why? That's what I want to know. Send it to Looney. Hello, Looney? Yes. We're going to yes. get it now from you. So send it. I want to hear. So me, the A is wrong. B is wrong. Four only, right? We know blood is involved, so C is wrong, which means it has to be D. 
D is the correct answer, which is your blood tissue and your uh, leg, uh, your your tendons, which is leg ligaments included in that. Huh? So, hope you're all getting this right. Okay, next one. Question two. Give the correct. Okay, here we go. Give the correct. That first, you will get a mark if it's correct, just for the record, okay? Give the correct biological term for each of the following. Guys, this is definitions again. Biological term, okay? If I had to say, um, what's it when uh, the sun comes down and lands on a leaf and the leaf makes food, and you say, well, uh -huh, or, or it, it lands on there, what's happening? Well, the leaf is making food. That is not biological terms. Photosynthesis is a biological term. It means the same thing, but you've got to give biology words. Right, so, <coughs> each of the following, let's have a look at it. Light trapping pigment found on leaves, yeah? Light trapping, this is a big word, pigment found in the leaves okay now do not get confused with green okay pigment this thing here does not tell you whether it's green whether it's pink whether it's purple it is a pigment at what gives it its color doesn't matter what the color is it's what gives it its color okay so it says the light temperature uh, uh, the light trapping pigment found in the leaves, okay? That there is photosynthesis. Photosynthesis. Okay, photosynthesis. Now, before I carry on, I cannot feel my mouth anymore. So that means I need some liquid. What I need you to do is I need, need you to make sure that I get that answer. Okay, get the answer, give a bit of jumps up and down. If you're tired, jump up and down. Let's get it going. We need this into our brains. Right. Hey, Lily. Yes. Mindsetters, we are going to take a break. Before we do, quick shout out to Aki at Deboho Michael, Phoenix, Garabo, and Claudine. Thank you so much, guys, for tuning in and for enjoying the show. We'll see you straight after this. Welcome back, my sitters, from an awesome break. Lou and Lou are in the house, Looney and Lou. So, Lou, <laughs> take it away. I've been waiting patiently <laughs> for that answer, and she's not giving it to me. And what did I say to you, Lou? No, yeah, she said it. Just you stand there and teach. I'll get it for you. Typical, you know? It's coming now, now. <laughs> <laughs> right. So, let's have a look at the next, next question here, guys. The movement, <coughs> the movement, so one of these, right? The movement <laughs> <laughs> of gas molecules, and I'm not going to show you that. Lo Looney might later, right? No. <laughs> the <laughs> movement of a gas molecule <laughs> from a region, right? From a region of high concentration to a region of low concentration. That is meiosis, hey? Of course. She doesn't guess. Okay? <laughs> Meiosis, it's very simple. It's moving of water only. Okay, water. You know that stuff we're drinking, Lily? Mm -hmm. Okay, water, H2O, right? Water from a high concentration, in other words, from a liter all the way to five milliliters, right? So it's moving down a concentration gradient. That is osmosis. Okay, when we talk about anything else, gas, any other type of liquid, anything like that we talk about diffusion okay wow. so it is diffusion okay so we're all there <coughs> nice simple easy do not get confused another way they will ask it is what is it uh, um let's see what is it called no wait 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 wait, wait. i'm trying to think now how to explain this to you they can say that something that moves from, well, os osmosis, right? Water can move from a low water potential to a high water potential, and it means the same thing. Water potential means how much more it can get. So a low water potential, if it can't get a lot, to a high water potential, it can accept a lot. 
Right, so that's another way they put it. And out of the corner of my eye, I can just see this hand. Yeah. Yes. Please, I need your attention. So, um, question 2.1. Yes. So I need to go back. Yes. Right. Our mindset is, uh, have spotted a mistake. They think it's chlorophyll. They think it's? Which chlorophyll. one? Chlorophyll. 2.1. 2.1. 2.1. Yes. Well, let's go back to that one. Uh, Piwe has picked it up. Nombumelelo has picked it up. Kuli so has picked Photosynthesis. It up. And they say photo... I, I, Apiwa says 2.1 is not photosynthesis, guys. I think it's chlorophyll. Yeah. So, Lou, can you please just... No, it definitely is. Just want to see if they're awake. Okay. I'm doing this very simple. I'm very impressed. The only thing is, I'm still waiting for the other answer. Yes, You're yes. absolutely and 100% right. Okay? It is... Chlorophyll. Yes. Not photosynthesis. High five. What is the process called? Photosynthesis. Right. Now, if I didn't get an answer by the end of this, I would have gone back and I want said, to okay, read you something here. Yes. But I don't know how to pronounce these life sciences terms, so please bear with me. Sawela so, Nelta is saying, or Nalka, because squam, squamous, squamous. squamous lines, the mouth and the lungs, and cuboidal lines, the glands. Say that again. <laughs> because squamous lines, the mouth and the lungs, and cuboidal lines, the glands. Okay, so you're looking at, at things like that, yes. But the problem is, let, let me go back to that problem. Yes, what else? And then mean? another one from Paul. Because the squamous lines, the mouth and the esophagus, and the cuboidal lines, many glands in the body, such as the thyroid glands and the what sub Bakes, please, Llewellyn, Sabay. Sebaceous. Yes, there you go. Right, now, guys, let me, let me show you something that's so cool. I'm so glad that you guys are giving me these answers, right? I really, really, really am so glad you're giving me the answers. The problem is, the biggest, biggest problem is, you know your work, but you're not reading the question. Cool. Okay. Yes, it does all the lining of the mouth and it does the lining of, of uh, all these other parts. The question was, look at this, okay, connective tissue, connective tissue. It's not, squamous is not a tissue, it's a cell, right? It's squamous cells, okay? It's cuboidal cells. It's not cuboidal tissue, it's cuboidal cells. And that's how they confuse you. You understand? You've got to know this. I, <coughs> I try to show you the trick as much, much as possible, but you need to know it's a cell, a cuboidal cell, a squamous cell, parenchyma cells, right? So, <coughs> do you understand where I'm coming from? All together, they can make a certain thing, like squamous epithelial, okay? Or epithelial cuboidal. Do, do you understand where I'm coming from? They are cells, and that's why those automatically, in my eyes, would be thrown out of, out of the question. You with me? I'm very impressed, though, with you guys picking up chlorophyll, which I've filled in and fixed it up. That's nice. Okay. Now, I want that keeping, that you must keep up with that, right? And I'm very impressed you got it right. So I'm going to keep doing it to make sure that you're awake. Okay. Now, do you understand why I sent you on a break at that point? Okay. <laughs> here we go. The growth of a tumor that forms, or the growth of a tumor that forms as a result of uncontrollable meiosis. Okay, so it's making of a tumor, right? So let's see, Looney. Yes. What do you think? What do you think when you get this growth underneath you? What do you think? What, what would it normally say? What could it be? Your... Think about it. A growth. Yo, it's like when the cells inside just divide and divide. Cancer. And divide. Hey? Cancer. Ooh, she is good. Did you see that? <laughs> right, right from the side there, she screams it out like never I'm before. I'm thinking growth. Yeah, like that's what? exactly what it really? is. Really? Okay. It's cancer, right? Right? Plain, simple. Okay? Next one. The most abundant plant tissue with thin... Yeah, wait. The most <laughs> abundant plant tissue, plant tissue with cell walls and 
intercellular spaces, oh. cell walls, intercellular spaces. Now, just off the top of my head, I'm trying to think. The outside has got to be epidermal cells, right? The inside has got to be, like right on the inside, has got to be that endodermis, right? And then you're going to get your phloem and your xylem and your, uh, um, what's that other one? She's not going to answer me. <laughs> right. <laughs> She's not going to answer me. Sorry. Doesn't matter. I want to know between the endoderm and the ectoderm, right, what that tissue is. Because that tissue is norm it normally looks big air space, isn't it? Right. Looks like this. There's big air spaces. Okay? Now, that cell changes quite a bit. Because you get, for example, you get one with chlorophyll in it. Or chloroplast, sorry. You get one with chloroplasts in it. You get ones that have got a lot of lignin. You get ones that don't have many lig not not much lignin. Do you understand? So you get all different types. Okay? You get ones that have become long, okay? All of those, those cells are your most abundant, it takes up the most space of a plant. And that is your poo parenchyma. Your parenchyma cells. Right, so you understand all of this. This is quite cool, okay? Those are your most abundant cells, okay? Next one. The substance which an enzyme acts upon. Whoa, he enzyme acts upon. So it's a substance that an enzyme acts upon. Now, if I'm not, not mistaken, an enzyme is something that breaks something else down. So if you remember, you've got to do food, right? And you, you've done all of this. And when I put an enzyme to break down a specific thing, for example, right, amylase breaks down a certain thing. Pepsinogen breaks down a certain thing. Um, maltase breaks down a certain thing. Do you understand where I'm coming from? Okay, so all of those, those are your enzymes. And they want to know the substance which an enzyme acts upon. And I can't just give one word. Well, it, it is one word, but it's, it's quite a strange word. Okay, I cannot say, okay, it's proteins, for example, or it's amino acids, which it will never be, but uh, carbohydrates, right, milk, okay, La lactose, all of that, I can't say that, but what is that? What is it in a collective term, okay? It is a substrate. Oh, and someone said that, Lele, too. <laughs> Lele you see, here. high five. That, Lele too. There it is. Well done. Okay, well, I'm impressed. Okay, <laughs> because a lot of people wouldn't have gotten this. This is a very, like, wish washy question. It makes you think a little bit. Right, so, now, if I have a look, I'm sure there were. No, there was no more of those. Okay, here we go. This is the next part of it. This is still, you need to know your definitions, okay? What they want to do, okay? This is very important, okay? Column A, or column one, and column two. They want you to have a look at, now in the olden days, we used to go match column A with column B. So you'd have a word up at A, and number 10 would be its mate, and you'd have to match them together. And they thought, no, uh -uh, not anymore. You guys are too clever for that. So now, they're messing you around. Okay, so what they've done, if I have a look at it, you can pick in each one of them, each one of them, this column is, ex the, the answer is here, it might be here or it might not, not be here. But it will either be A, okay, it could then be B, so it's either A or B, or it can be both, which is strange, or it can be none. And that's how you answer it. So it's very simple. It's either A only, B only, both A and B, or none. So that's how you put your answer down. Simple, it's easy, okay? So let's go through it. Okay, here we go. Responsible for protein synthesis. Now when you get into matric one day, you're gonna learn about how they get made. But in the cell, okay, you remember you get these funny little things that are running around, okay? For example, um, 
you get the ribosome, right? You get the lysosome at times. You get the mitochondria. You get the chloroplast. Do you understand? So it's all these little things. And each one you need to know very well. For example, to me, I remember the one that I remember the best is the mitochondria. The powerhouse of the cell makes the energy. Okay, now you need to know that out of the two, ribosome is where it's normally called the protein factory. It makes the proteins. Okay, so that's the first one. Next one, plant cell without, plant cell without a nuclei. Okay, is it parenchyma cells? Uh-uh, can't be. Parenchyma is the most abundant tissue, right? Next one, companion cells. Hold on, whoa. Plant cell without a nucleus. Companion cell. Companion cell. Now, where would you find a companion cell? That is my question. I'm going to leave that one with you guys. Okay? I'm not going to answer it because I might answer it wrong or I might answer it right. I want to see how you guys do it. This one I'm going to leave for you. So you need to tell me, is it A, is it B, is it A and B, or is it none? So the answers you got left, it can only be B or none. Which one is it? Okay, and give me a reason for your answer. Next, next one. The waxy layer on the outer surface, the outer surface of a leaf. The outer surface, that waxy layer. Now that there is to do what? Remember, to stop water loss and all of that other stuff. Okay, so let's have a look at it. Epidermis. Epidermal tissue. Ah, uh -uh. that's the cells that we make, right? They want to know that waxy layer on the top, and that is called the cuticle. So that answer is B. This answer is A. You're all with, with me so far. Don't forget, I want an answer. Okay, next one. The thin membrane, it's a thin membrane surrounding muscle fibers. Uh uh. Yo, I always knew there was something wrong. Okay, Looney, please yes. give me the answers there. You don't have to give me the correct answer. Read A and read, read B for me. Peri... <laughs> Perio... What? Periosteum. Periosteum? Periosteum. Sar... <laughs> you got to know your bio terms. Sarcolemma. I never did bio. I know, that's why I do it. Sarcolemma. Right, now... One of these is around muscles, I can tell you that, and one of them is around bone. Okay, so let's go. Periosteum or sarcolemma? Periosteum or sarcolemma? Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to go with uh, both, right? Both, because it makes sure that it comes together and, and, and they work together. Okay, next one. The stage in which... The cell cycle, uh, wait, the stage in the cell cycle when the cell performs its normal function. Is it cytokinesis? Cytokinesis is splitting of the cytoplasm. Okay? Or is it interphase between phases? I will go with very simple, I will go very simple with A. Interphase. Now, Hopefully, your minds are ticking. I want that answer. And make sure I see you straight after the break. Hey, All right. Mindset is let's go get some juice. Let's go get some water. Have a few stretches. And we'll see you straight after this. <laughs> Welcome back, Mindset is from that break. I just love that music from that A break. Ding. Ding. <laughs> anyway, <laughs> I hope you guys are enjoying the lesson, so Lou will take it straight away. Okay, I cannot wait any longer. Okay, so listen carefully. It's very simple. Okay, this one is wrong. Especially because I said to you, one is around a bone, one is around a muscle. So if you didn't pick that up and you didn't send a message there, ah, then I don't know. Okay, right, so it's very simple. That one goes around the bone, so it is B. Sarcolemma. Right. Okay. Now, this is where the problem comes in. Okay. You have to know your specific things. For example, 
Stay with me. I'm going to do short hand so I can get through as much as possible. Okay, because we don't have much time left. So stay with me. Let, let's see what you can come up with. Okay, here we go. Golgi body. Okay, now what does the Golgi body do? What they want you to do is complete the following table. It's very simple. The function of whatever is the site and uh, if it's found in animal, plant, or both. Okay, so Golgi body, okay, that brother or sister, whichever way you see it, right, it comes along and it packs the protein before it's got to be sent off. Okay, so it packs. Uh, packs protein. Okay, so it packs the protein so that it can go off and send it to a specific place, right? And it's found in both, right? Both of the cells, animal and plant, right? Next, next one, cellular respiration, powerhouse of the cell, right? So that is your mitochondria, mitochondria. Chondria, okay, and where is it found? Same, both, and then the last one, chloroplast. What is its function? It is photosynthesis, and it's found in plants only. Otherwise, you would be green. And make sure that when you're sick, you're not photosynthesizing. You're not that green, right? So, Looney, have they come up with any other answer for me? Somatic cell. Somatic cell. What is a somatic cell? And okay. then answer 3.2 is none. The answer, why is it none? 3.5 is incorrect. D is correct. Clever. Yes. I'm getting impressed. Yes, yes. Now, at least I'm keeping you guys on your toes. What they want you to do in this specific one, right, is they've given you a plant and an animal cell, right, and they want you to, uh, to answer the questions that, that follow. I'm glad that you guys are on your toes and you guys are watching and you're listening very, very carefully. Next one. Which cell, X or Y, represents a plant cell? Right, for one mark. One mark, very simple. X or Y, is it this one or is it that one? I know for a fact it's Y. Right, so there it is. Y. Next one. Give two visible reasons for your answer. Visible does not mean what you think. It means what you can actually see. So if I knew nothing, absolutely nothing, about a plant and an animal cell, I can pick already. Okay, hold on. Here's only one line, right? Here's two. So it's got a cell wall. So let me put that down. Okay, so it's a cell wall, right? That's the first of it. How many does it want? Once, two. Next one. Here, let's see, that's the same, can you see it, right, there you've got the ER, can you see it, there you've got a nucleus, can you see it, that's all fine, does it have this thing, no, does, uh, ah, it's got a small one, hold on, whoa, so let's cancel that one out, yeah, look at this, what is this thing here, okay, this one doesn't have it, it is a chloroplast, so it's got the chloroplasts, are you with with me you understand this is nice and easy this is marks for nothing next next one label parts a and b a is your mitochondria b oh a is your mitochondria right and b it's very simple i'm gonna put er and i'm gonna tell you the name okay it's your endoplasmic reticulum now understand you can't just put er okay the first time you get asked a question like that you can say endoplasmic reticulum in brackets er and then you can start using er because they know you know what it means okay very nice next one structure c plays an important role in cell y right list three functions of the structure structure c come on Structure C, ah, this big thing here. Okay, so, it says list, list three functions. The first function, I know for a fact, is turga pressure, okay? Turga pressure. Now, turga pressure 
pushes the cell, makes the cell up nice and things, uh, nice and, and plump, like a balloon. If you blow a balloon up, it's got turgor pressure. The inside air is pushing it out like this, and the outside air is pushing it in. That's why it gets nice and big and round, right? That's turgor pressure on the inside, okay? That's the first function. Next one, it stores food, right? It stores, right? Stores food, okay? Then what it does, what else is it? It's got a lot of other things, okay? It stores your vitamins. It stores your minerals, stores like that. And lastly, it contains a lot of water. Okay? It's there to make sure the turgor pressure happens. It's there to store things. Okay? And it helps break down certain foods. Okay? So it helps break down, break down foods. Right? Okay? The enzymes are inside there, but the food is still going inside there to be got to get hold of and to get broken down. Okay? So that's that one. Last one, let's see. Name the organic substance that part D in the cell Y mainly consists of. Oh, hold on. Name the organic substance that part D in cell Y mainly consists of. D, okay? So keep your eyes on D. Where's D? Oh, this part here. Okay, it wants to know the cell wall. And that's mainly made up of cellulose. Nice, easy, simple. Right, let's go to the next one. Oh, this is quite a, a hectic one. Okay, they want you to look at the pictures and answer the questions that follow. Okay, so let's have a look at it. This automatically knows mitosis, right? Because we see all the cells in that. It says, label structure A, B, D, and E. A. There we go. It's this middle piece here. It's a centromere. Centromere. Next one, B. Okay. A chromatid and a chromatid joined by a, a centromere is called a chromosome. It wants to know chromatid. The one side. It's only labeling the one. That's A, B. Okay. D is your, nu uh, uh, your nucleolus. Okay, there's the nu nucleus, guys. It's inside the nucleus. It's the nucleolus. Right. And then E, which is over here, it's your centrioles. They're the ones that go to the, the side and make the spindle fibers. Okay, that's very important. Okay, so that's the first one. Let's have a look at the next one. By making use of numbers only, you don't write words, numbers. Okay, arrange the phase in the correct way order let's see okay that one's gonna be last i already see it okay this one is after that one am i right okay that one the spindle fibers are formed that's still in first so i would say that's one right let's see that's two that's three that's four that's five right so there we go going down write down the number of chromosomes in each of the daughter cells Talking about meiosis, one, two, three, four. How many are there? Four. Okay, either this is simple stuff, guys. This is nice and easy. State one difference between the plant, well, let's say one difference between the plant and the animal cell with the region C, if I'm not mistaken. There it is. This season, yeah. When it comes to, listen to me carefully, when it comes to an animal cell dividing at the end, or going through cytokinesis. What happens is it in, like, invaginates like this, and then it goes together, and then it pops open, and that's it. Right. When it comes to plant cell, remember it's got a cell wall. It can't do that. So what happens is it gets a plate in the middle, right? A cell plate that goes in the middle. Then new cell walls develop, and then they separate. Okay. So that's the big difference. The one forms a plate, and the other one doesn't. Right. I'm glad, I, I hope I helped you, and I'm sure I'll see you later. Yes, of course. Mindsetters, we will see you straight after this for more life sciences with Luni. And we will have a draw for the competition. So make sure you stay tuned. Even if you're in grade 10, grade 11 show, you better watch. We'll see you now, now.